you're in a parking lot with Ricky Tang and his car with a neat trick to extend the range of your car key. So the theory is if I, if I do this and I press on the button, it will work uh, much longer. So, so it works, right? So let's uh, try to go further out. This is one of those clips where you watch it and think, well, I'm gonna try that immediately. You can still hear it. And if I try to remote it, like directly, still doesn't quite work. So let's see how far we can take this. I was kind of thinking, has this guy got some kind of magical cyborg head? So again, nothing. And let's try to press this again against my chin. It, it still works. Incredibly, Ricky's head can extend the range of the remote from around 100 feet to over 260 feet. Is this for real? It, it still works. A car door remote control produces an electromagnetic wave, which is a radio wave, at a specific frequency, and that is what triggers the car to open the door. The reason the remote works from so much farther away is that Ricky points it at his head. Now, your head is mostly water. In fact, your brain is 75% water. Water molecules have a positive side and a negative side. And this means that the electromagnetic waves can move that charge up and down. When you move a charged particle, you produce an electromagnetic wave, which is the same frequency as the original signal. This means instead of one small remote control sending the signal, it's being beamed out of all of Ricky's head. This still works. But is Ricky in danger of frying his brain? Although zapping electromagnetic waves through your brain sounds dangerous, Ricky is going to be fine here because the car remote only produces a small amount of electromagnetic power and for a very small amount of time. So as long as you have a car key and a head, feel free to try this one at home. It, it still works.